In today's world of market volatility and uncertainty, your retirement plans need to be front and center. With ever-changing tax laws, healthcare worries, and an unpredictable stock market, don't overlook the vulnerability in your retirement planning. Protecting your family and estate will be difficult with shifting policies in Washington. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on retirement. Hi, and welcome into Eye on Retirement, the weekly show that keeps you in the know about all things retirement. I'm Rick Everett of Market Advisory Group, and we have got our full panel assembled for you in this episode, starting with Jonathan McCoy, financial advisor and partner with Market Advisory Group, Joshua Sikora, the lead CPA with Market Tax Services, Bill Vauder, our Medicare advisor with Market Medicare Advisors, and Gerald Eidelman of Eidelman Law Firm. Gentlemen, thank you all for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Jonathan, you were telling me before the show about a, a real life situation that played out around the conference table at Market Advisory Group, and you shared that the couple was retiring earlier than expected, that they thought they had enough money saved, but didn't really know for sure what it was gonna take them mm -hmm. to live a comfortable life and that they shared with you that their advisor was somewhat of a one-trick pony, if you will. He, he, their words, not mine. <laughs> yeah. he, he knew investments well and had gotten the folks a good return, but they still felt very much unprepared for retirement. And my guess is that probably has a lot to do with the fact they didn't have a whole team working for them. Uh, a big part of it, and that's why I decided to use, you know, this story is a perfect example of how we're trying to help people here at Market Advisory Group. And ultimately, in these folks' circumstances, it was really health issues on the husband's part that had come up over the last six, seven, eight years. Multiple different diagnoses that they thought could have been much more serious than they wound up being. And he's, he's much healthier now, and, and they're just looking forward to enjoying as many healthy years left as they have available to them, because ultimately... None of us really know when that last day might be or when that last diagnosis might come along. And unfortunately, we hear those stories all too often. But in this case, the challenges are, especially along the healthcare lines, we'll chat a little bit with Bill about that, but um, wondering, can they even afford to retire? They'd never really had these discussions with their financial advisor about what kind of income can they rely on from their 401ks, their pensions, their social security. And then when I started bringing up, they actually came originally to one of our tax presentations, tax classes in person. When we started bringing up, you know, have you thought about how much it's going to cost you tax-wise? How much is the IRS going to get involved in your situation? That's really when the light bulb went off for them and turned them on to the idea of coming in and talking for, uh, in the consultation as well. So, Joshua, I'm sure you were a part of this as well as far as tax planning goes because a lot of people don't even have a clue when it comes to what they're actually going to be planning for in paying taxes in retirement. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. So it, it was started out nicely that we got to prepare their last full year of workings uh, tax return. And that's great because it gives us a baseline to kind of start looking at what retirement's going to look like. How are we winding down the working wages? How are we going to start increasing the different sources of the retirement income? Then we can start talking as we establish that plan, we can start talking about what the tax implications of all these different income streams were going to be, and then talk about what options we might have to intentionally make moves, you know, whether it's Roth conversions, whether it's, you know, because we're wanting some tax-free growth, whether we're looking at other planning opportunities to try to control taxation in the, some of those out years. Now, Gerald, they, they had a will, a trust, and uh, powers of attorney already in place. But how often should somebody have those reviewed? Well, I tell people it should be at least every three to five years. And of course, anytime there's a life change, uh, in this case, for example, they had a death in the family and the brother was one of the beneficiaries and there was no provision to how to divide or to transfer that portion of the property to another heir. So that was very important. We also had some discussions a little bit about preparing better uh, for Medicaid potential, uh, you know, uh, clawback and how to segregate their assets in such a way that they wouldn't be so exposed if they were to need Medicaid later on in life. Now, Bill Vauder with Market Medicare Advisors, the wife in this case was the older spouse and had three months until retirement. So 
At that time, Jonathan, when they were there, did you go ahead and set up a, a meeting for Medicare? Yeah, ultimately it was, part of it was getting ahead of the game because the wife was going to be uh, turning 65 actually technically this year. So her, her eligibility was coming up much sooner. But the husband's concern really was, yeah, they could get COBRA for the few months to cover both of them until she was eligible to file for Medicare. But then really the bigger concern was for him. What's it going to take to get along between now and when he turns 65? So when people are in this situation retiring, <laughs> I always encourage them to find out what is COBRA going to cost. Um, there's Because they have COBRA to pick from. There's also the Affordable Care Act to take a look at. There's a lot of different health sources out there to get health insurance these days. But the cost is a big deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really have to evaluate that, the cost against the benefits. And today I'm finding quite often that the COBRA insurance works out better than going to the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. I mean, but COBRA doesn't last forever, so you have to prepare for that. That's right, and, and it was the same in their case because based on how much income they were gonna be receiving each month, they had pretty, pretty good pensions in place and Social Security on top of that. Really, it was building into the budget for at least the next two to three years what is COBRA, the Affordable Care Act, going to cost? That was one of the first primary questions we had to answer to determine, can they afford to retire in the first place, which is what they came to us to find out. Having a team going to work for you as you plan your retirement is critical. The investment advisor may have advice or guidance when it comes to Medicare or estate planning or tax planning, but they're not a tax planner or a Medicare advisor or an estate attorney. Having the whole team go to work for you ensures that you have the best possible results that we can shoot for going forward in retirement. If you'd like to set up a complimentary, no obligation consultation with our team, our operators are standing by right now at 316-252-8707. Again, 316-252-8707. If you have a question you'd like to submit, Please do. You can do so online at IonRetirement.com. We'll be back with more Ion Retirement right after this. When people work with Market Advisor Group, they get a feel of sense of family. There's a lot of relationships that are made and going on in this conference room, and we really take a lot of pride in that and a lot of satisfaction in that. Every client we work with, we make a custom-made plan to fit them and help reach their goals in life. Another thing that makes us unique is we want to meet regularly with our client and have reviews. Market Advisory Group, we, we have a process, and the process we take people through is first to understand what they have, understand who they are, and then we put together an income plan for them and show them how they, again, they can look forward to retirement and not look, though retirement is going to be a stressful time. It needs to be a stress-free time. A few unique features of working with Market Advisory Group is uh, holistic in-house financial consultants. Uh, we've got an in-house CPA, Joshua, an in-house estate planning attorney, Gerald, uh, an in-house Medicare advisor, Bill. Uh, we rely on all of those uh, professionals for, again, additional service within our co consultative process, making sure that we've got the advice and the expertise behind the recommendations that we make. You know, as an advisor, I'm not there to sell them one way or the other. I'm there to educate them, to let them know what their choices are. Then I try to help them make the right choice where they can save money and feel confident in their decision. Absolutely the best part of my job is getting a stack of paperwork from somebody and they don't know what to do and then I can turn around and give them back a tax return but also to be able to explain what they can do next year that will give them a better answer than what they had this year. When we've got clients that are calling and they need to help out a child or need to help out a grandchild or need to help themselves out and they're, they're in a situation they didn't expect to be in, I really relish the opportunity to help them through that, help them make the educated decisions in somewhat stressful situations, because a lot of folks don't have that type of counsel. We meet with so many people one-on-one -on -one in this office that don't ever end up becoming a customer or doing business with us, and that's okay. But when they leave our office, we know that we've helped them either get some answers to some of the questions they had or get some clarity on maybe their own path. But one of the things that we hear all the time is, I wish I would have met you guys 10 years ago, because how much further could I be down the road? 
Well, Johnny Appleseed said, you know, when's the best time to plant a tree? 10 years ago. When's the second best time? Today. And so if we can help people today going forward, that just brings an incredible amount of comfort and excitement for us to come to work every day. Hi, and welcome back into High on Retirement. I'm Rick Everett, along with Jonathan McCoy of Market Advisory Group. And for the second week in a row, we're bringing you a series of real life events that happened around the conference tables at Market Advisory Group. Real clients with real stories. And Jonathan, the next story that comes up is about a client that had a mother that had recently passed away and left a family farm and a few hundred thousand dollars to each one of the children. Mm -hmm. um, the client was wanting to know if that would be enough to allow them to retire early. Kind of a loaded question. Yeah, and I mean, it, it ultimately goes back to going through these steps that we, we talk about so often on all of our programs, including here on Iron Retirement, that you've got to start with the basics. What it's going to what's it going to cost you to live? What sort of significant financial changes are going to be coming up over the next few years, or in the near future anyway, prior to and after retirement, whether it's paying off a home, taking on an additional home, so people want a vacation uh, place that they can get away to, adding in more money to the travel budget, whether you're going around the country to try to see new grandchildren, whatever that may be. I mean, these are all the things that retirement lifestyle is about. In their circumstances, ultimately, there were, there were some really upfront challenges of what happens with the family farm that was inherited and split across multiple siblings. They had never been in a situation like this, never really had been educated by anyone as far as ha how to handle these assets. And then when they came to our uh, came to our class, um, ultimately, they were starting to ask questions around. Well, we don't want to just dump this money we're inheriting right back into the market because that can cause all these other tax issues. We don't want the IRS to get too involved in our circumstances. So we walked them step by step through our through our process, as we do with everyone, to determine which of our departments, in this case, all of them, was going to be needed to help give them direction and advice. Joshua, do you find as as the lead CPA with market? tax services that a lot of people prior to coming here, they thought, well, I've got this big lump of money and that's all I need. I mean, I'm set. Right. And that happens a lot or they'll come in and they'll talk about, oh, I just got this inheritance. And then they'll want to talk about what th the taxes are going to look like. And that's such a huge can of worms because depending on what the nature of that money is, it can have a wide variety of ta tax treatments. You know, it could be cash sitting in a bank, which gets one set of treatment. It could be investment accounts, which get something completely different. It could be, you know, the farm, and we got to talk about step up and basis, and then it gets complicated again. Uh, so it, it's not just a straight answer on what happens. We, we really kind of need to dig into it and unpack it because there's, there's lots of different ways that can play out. A lot of people tend to not even think about taxes until they're coming up on tax time. And having the CPA, the market tax services portion of the retirement plan along with the rest of the team really gives people an advantage as far as having the knowledge of what they can expect to be paying in taxes in retirement. Absolutely. When we're working with people, we go in and we can talk about what's going to happen before the end of the year. So when it gets to tax time, there's really not much in the way of surprises anymore. Bill Vauder with Market Medicare Advisors. These folks were not yet ready for Medicare at age 65. However, they are going to have that need. And I wondered if you could share with our viewers, what would that initial visit, uh, what could that initial visit with Market Medicare Advisors look like with you? Well, I have sometimes had people come to see me a year in advance of that. I, I tend to think that's a little bit early because it's a fast changing world. And there's sometimes there are components in Medicare that change during that time. I really rather they come see me about six months in advance to maybe even three months in advance. I really, I can't help them get enrolled in Medicare until they get within that 90 day window. Um, and then of course, all of us help people enroll people in Social Security and Medicare, uh, kind of save them a trip to the Social Security office or that phone call that lasts forever, but <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, you, you start planting that seed, try to give them some general information so they can start digesting it. I sometimes have people come in three and four times before they finally are ready to make that 
that decision on which way to go. So you, you allow them that time. Now, with, with the decision of which way to go, there are variables that can come into play and be changed pretty much at any time as far as supplements to Medicare, correct? True. Um, Medicare supplements, that, that's a highly competitive world. And the last time I counted, um, there's 60 some companies that offer Medicare supplements and they're all offering the same product. It just, they each have a different name and a different price. And it's like, you know, how do you figure that out? Well, we have our tricks to help people find the cheaper companies to go with. Gerald Eidelman with Eidelman Law Firm. Uh, this client, there was a trust in place mm -hmm. that, that automatically uh, went into play. That, that was planning on the mother's part that had taken place. How important is it to, to have those plans in place? Well, this, this particular case was important because the daughter uh, was, had remarried and they had a blended family. And she received all this inheritance and she had kids from her prior marriage that she wanted to take care of. A lot of times people are concerned that this is family money and they want to keep it in the family. And at the same time, she wanted to be able to take care of her spouse while he was alive. And so sometimes it gets complicated to balance the two up uh, because you want to make sure your kids don't get disinherited, uh, especially when you're dealing with a family inheritance. And at the same time, you want to be able to provide for the spouse without them depleting all of the assets in the first place. So if, if nothing is in place, it, it, if nothing is in place and someone passes away, what would happen to the estate in that case? Well, that's a good, that's a good question. Uh, normally, what will happen is that if there is no estate plan, there's no will, you're then relying on the loss of the state. And in general, what happens is that if the surviving spouse, or I'm sorry, the deceased spouse had children, then half of it would go to the children but the other half would go to the surviving spouse. So in, in, if this was the case with her, she would have lost, well, her kids would have lost 50% of their inheritance in the process. Here's a, a scenario for you to play out. Uh, two people are married, husband and wife married. The husband had been married prior and had a, a will in place at that time with his ex-wife named as the beneficiary. Right. But he has since remarried. However, he never took the ex-wife off the will. Who would stand in line as the beneficiary? Well, actually, there is a law, a state law for that, that specifically states that if you write a will and then subsequently divorce, what the, they divorce the spouse that was, the ex-spouse that was named in the will, no longer takes anything from the will. So whether they had actually gone and prepared and plan, they would be protected from the excess spouse. I like to reiterate in stories like this, and with, with these clients in particular, they were looking at, we usually get two, two pieces of feedback from folks when it comes to estate planning. It's either I wanna do what my mom did for us and mm -hmm. make it as simple as possible, or my parents left me a mess and I don't wanna leave that for my children. So we, we've gotta rely on our experts for that. Retirement accounts, savings, inheritance funds, and, and real estate, there's a lot that comes into play when it comes to retirement planning and estate planning. And our team at Market Advisory Group is here to help. If you'd like to set up your own complimentary, no obligation consultation, our operators are standing by right now at 316-252-8707. Again, at 316-252-8707. And we'll be back with more Eye on Retirement right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only. To set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. 
We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. Welcome back in to Ion Retirement. I'm Rick Everett of Market Advisory Group. And in our last two segments, we've talked about real life stories that have played out around the conference tables of Market Advisory Group. And in the last situation, uh, we had to talk about retirement accounts as well as savings, inheritance. Uh, real estate is a very, very complicated ordeal to where if you were just dealing with a financial advisor, you mm -hmm. probably were not gonna get anywhere near the information or accurate information that, that you should. And a question I have is, why would you pay for incomplete advice? At Market Advisory Group, we have the whole team going to work for you. We ask that question of just about everybody that comes through our doors is ultimately, what are you getting for what you're already paying? So the, the second story that we just talked about, the folks who are uh, receiving an inheritance from the, from the recently deceased mother, they had a financial advisor. It was actually a fairly close family friend that goes to their church that had sold them a couple of annuities over the years that, you know, they had, they had this ongoing relationship and felt good about what had happened in their, in their investing past. But all of these new things coming to fruition and the fact that they had never had a full blown conversation about what does retirement look like? How is our, how is our pay going to be coming into our bank accounts? How are we going to be investing this money? But when they asked, you know, their, their existing advisor about what they could be doing with this money they were inheriting from the mom, the advisor said, well, it's simple. We can just put it in this type of account. And it was a very black and white, almost transactional type conversation. And this sort of opened them up to the idea that, you know, we, we don't need to just blindly accept that every little piece of advice that we get is exactly what we need to do, even if it's from a trusted friend. Ultimately, we have to understand this is a business relationship with your financial advisor. And you've got to re realize at some point that Everyone, if you've got a financial advisor, everyone is paying these fees. And the fees are not necessarily a bad thing, obviously, as long as you're receiving the service that is in line with and subsequent with mm -hmm. you know, what you're paying. At Market Advisory Group, we're looking to, to do this in just a different way where we can incorporate the advice of all these additional professionals at no additional cost um, and make sure that there aren't these missing pieces. The first thing that turned th those folks on to coming in to talk to us was when they started looking into what were the tax ramifications of reinvesting this money they were receiving from the mom's trust, they realized that their advisor might have been leaving them potentially in a, in a path of destruction as for, from a tax perspective. And uh, Joshua Sikori with Market Tax Services, I brought that up in, an, in a prior segment. A lot of people think if they have the financial component, the big bag of money per se, to go off into the sunset with that they're set and there's so much that needs to be brought to folks' attention to have an effective plan, to know what the income is and the tax strategies that go into retirement planning. Right, right. One of the things Jonathan and the other financial advisors will talk about is that if we know something's gonna cost you thousands of dollars, when do you wanna know about it? Today or when it's gonna cost you here in you know months or, or years down the road? Taxes is one of those things. If you can get invested and you could be doing great, but if Uncle Sam comes along and says he wants a big piece of that, wouldn't you like to know that before he comes knocking on your door with that, that tax bill? Exactly. Ta tax surprises around tax season every year are one of the most common reasons that people come to talk to us is, hey, we got slapped with this tax bill. We have no idea why. Our financial advisor couldn't explain it. Our tax advisor said, yeah, it's because it was on this 1099, but ultimately we didn't get any explanation as to what could have been done or what can be done going into the future. And that's why a lot of folks are coming to talk to us is, is this, this tax thing. It always seems like it's a surprise because there's really not a whole lot that you can do after the fact, after that income's been reported and realized. Um, those are some of the situations that ultimately our team is tasked with cleaning up, in other words. So. And Gerald Eidelman, Eidelman Law Firm. You know, we talk about having plans in place. 
when someone passes away and doesn't have a plan in place, I'm sure you fielded those calls in the past of sure. there was no will in place, there was no trust in place. What are my options? And what are your answers? Well, and it gets complicated when you don't have a will. You're going to wind up having to do a probate estate. Now, if you have competing people, for example, you have second marriage and you have a spouse who wants to represent the deceased spouse or a child that wants to represent the, the deceased father in court, then you have a competition between interests where they might wind up lit litigating this issue, whereas if they had a will, it would be clear who the executor or the representative of the estate would be. So all these things are very important to have in place because you can leave a real mess behind if you don't put your ducks in a row when it comes to state planning. Now, when, when we talk about having a will in place, having a trust in place, having your ducks in a row, if you will, in that event, things are much more streamlined time-wise than if it's going through probate, I would guess. Absolutely, absolutely. The trust is very useful in order to avoid probate. It's a streamlined process. It's much simpler. People can get their inheritance quicker than they can through probate. And there's less chances of litigation issues coming up. Bill Vauder with Market Medicare Advisors. When someone is trying to bridge that gap between the insurance they're receiving from their current employer and the time that they're going to be eligible for Medicare at age 65, mm -hmm. what are some of the tools that you're able to help guide folks through to maintain health coverage? Well, I, you know, I sit down and explain to them there are a variety of choices for health insurance these days. Thankfully, there's there's more now than there used to be in the past, but you take a look at all angles. You take a look at the possible COBRA insurance that they may be able to keep from their employer. You take a look at the, the Affordable Care Act, and then there's the open market out there that you can look to for health insurance. So yeah. lots of options. Right. Why would you pay for incomplete advice? At Market Advisory Group, you have the whole team of professionals going to work for you with the investments the tax planning as well as the Medicare and the estate planning. If you'd like to set up a complimentary no obligation comp a complimentary no obligation consultation with our team, our operators are standing by right now to take your calls at 316-252-8707. That's all the time we have this week. I'm Rick Everett reminding you we're here to keep an eye on retirement. broadcast is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns is not indicative of future results. Each individual investor situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only transacts business in the states where it is registered or is excluded or exempt from registration requirements. Registration as an investment in Advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by security regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. Legal services are offered by Eidelman Law Firm. Tax services offered by Market Tax Services. Market Advisory Group does not provide legal or tax advice. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. This broadcast is copyrighted by Market Media Network. All rights reserved.